trap cards. What does it say about them? They're slow, they take a while to activate, their trap decks are really powerful. Like this one, Amazement. What's so good about Amazement? Well, it breaks the mechanics of trap cards. You equip them to cards. You equip them to your cards to gain benefits, you equip them to your opponents to gain benefits. And your monsters are all about equipping them to your other monsters or your opponents' monsters to gain benefits. Let's start with Amazement Ambassador. I'm gonna call him Buffalo. He is a Beast Earth. After the normal sign, you can target an Amazement Trap in your graveyard and place it on a face up monster your opponent controls. Um, by that I mean it gets equipped to it. And because it's equipped, the trap card gains its benefits. I'll go over what all those are later. Quick effect, you can target one of your amazement traps equipped to a monster, equip it to an amazement monster you control, or a face up monster your opponent controls. So either normal summon it and switch around some cards for from the graveyard to the field, or if it's on the field, go a quick effect and switch where it's equipped. It's still st now just to clarify, just in case you're wondering, I know you're probably not. It still stays on the field exactly in the same position it left. It doesn't leave the field and then do anything. No, still stays on the field. Our uh, next monster now amazement attendant Comica. After being normal summoned, you can set an amazement trap directly from your deck. Quick effect, you can target an amazement trap, equip to a monster, and equip it to one amazement card you control, or one piece of card your opponent controls. Exact same thing as Buffalo, but also normal summoned gets a set of trap from your deck. Alright, and next we got amazement assistant. I'm gonna just call her Delta. It's much easier. This way. Um, you can reveal an Amazement Trap in your hand and special summon this to your field. You can send an Amazement Trap from your hand or face up field of the graveyard. Set an Amazement Trap directly from your deck in your spell and trap card zone. This is pretty cool. You get to reveal an Amazement in your hand that you don't need, put it back into your deck, and put a new one on your field while also getting a monster. Not bad. Next, we get our boss monster? Yeah, Amazement Administrator Arlokino. Once per turn, you may you can banish any number of Amazement Traps from your graveyard. Then target that many cards your opponent controls, banish, uh, sorry, destroy them. Get rid of your cards from the graveyard, get rid of your opponent's cards. Sounds like a fair deal to me. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. Um, if you activate a trap card, you get a summon it to your field. If your opponent normal special summons, you can equip an Amazement Trap from your deck to it. Amazement Abomination, or Kino, okay? Weirdly, the Abomination is the one that's a light type, light attribute, and the Administrator is the dark attribute. The Administrator looks all happy, and the Abomination looks all creepy and stuff. So that brings up the point of, which one's evil? Now, I don't know if there is any actual lore for this archetype, besides look at the cards and figure it out yourself. So, if there is, I would love to see that in the comments. Or, just, I'd love to see any. It might be in Master Duel, for all I know. I, I don't, I made it obvious, I'm not a Master Duel player. I've, I've tried, it's just really not fun. Anyway. Abomination makes so if you control an amazement, you get special from your hand, then add family face from your deck or graveyard to your hand. During your opponent's turn, as a quick effect, you can make your one of your other monsters attack point zero by putting this card back into your deck and summoning out um, Amazement Administrator Arakino. So you summon out its alter ego. Its evil good version? Yeah. Something like that. So, right now, what do we got? We got a monster that can get out our traps as long as they're in the graveyard and recycle them. Uh, not recycle, we put them on the field. Reshuffle them? No. You know what I mean. Another monster that just gets more traps, lets us resort them. Another monster that lets us go through our hand better. Our boss monster that lets us control our opponent. 
and our card that lets us get more of the boss monster. And I know I normally go with the 3000 attack point baseline. They don't have 3000 attack points, and they're not really that close either. And just saying, there's not really that many ways in the deck to increase attack points. Well, now it's time for the spells. Amazing, amazement Special Show. Quick play spell card. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets an amazement card you control, target one of those amazement monsters you control, return to the hand. Then you can special an amazement monster from your hand. Um, so it's like the magic. It's like a magic show. It's like a magic show where. It's an escape act. You're getting in this box, a carton goes up, and then you're gone. Then you reappear. It's I like to think about it like that. I know that's more like a Dark Magician thing, and this is more like, well, an amusement park. All bright, flashy colors and stuff like that. But it's still nice to always think about how the card could work, and I, I prefer my way. It's really not the most useful card, just stopping bird targeting. Anyway, next card, um, Amazement Time Ticket. A quick play card, play 800 life points, and you either get to add an Amazement card from your deck to your hand if it's your turn, or if it's your opponent's, you get to set an Amazement Trap directly from your deck, and you can activate it this turn. You can only activate one of these per turn. Now, <laughs> this card is funny. You, It's a ticket. To amusement park. The 800 light points is the amount of money you have to pay to go to the amusement park. Oh, anyway, we have a field spell card. Amazement Priceless Park. During your main phase, you can activate one amazement trap. The turn it was set. There it is. We're waiting for it. Every trap deck needs it. Just saying, no, you can activate your card regardless of what turn it is, or even though you didn't wait a turn. Also makes so during the end of phase, you can take one of your amazement traps on the field and swap it out for a card in your graveyard. Or that is banished. Um, the first effect is pretty interesting, and the second effect makes it so you get you get to have a more better resource loop. You get rid of your useless amazement trap cards that are only useful once for the ones that are actually useful. Anyway, um, earlier we talked about an amazement family face. Also, come on, Konami, you can't do this. You, you can't just show us a Melfi plushie and just pretend like you didn't. Also, these would be amazing things, to have, really easy to turn into actual real world products. For stickers, there's little keychains, there's a little Karibo. These things could just be plushies, more plushies. Oh, anyway, let's go over it. Target a monster upon controls that is equipped with an, an equipped amazement trap that is equipped to it. We take control of it against five and attack, can I, we can't activate its effects, and shoot as an amazement monster. Also, if that only applies while we control it, so if our opponent changed up hearted, it wouldn't still have that 500 attack points, I guess? Anyway, let's continue. Now, this is when we get to the weird thing. Now, notice how up here it doesn't actually say amazement, because a lot of our cards, and like all of our trap cards, except amazement family ticket, is maze. Attraction, blank, 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 blank. Like this one, Maze Attraction, Miracle Round. Which is weird, why isn't it called Amazement, whatever. Now, like, if you notice in here, I, I lied to you a little about their effects, it doesn't say it always says attraction, because that's what our traps are. They are attractions at our theme park. We have a miracle round, we have a roller coaster, we have bumper oh, not bumper carts, race cars, we have another roller coaster, we have a haunted house, we have a ferris wheel, and we have a water ride. 
Anyway, let's go over these. Um, the Miracle Round, you can equip it like normal. You target an Azement card you control or face-up card upon controls, equip this and gain the following effects based on who controls it. Um, if your opponent controls it, a, the equip monster loses 5 attack for every um, traction trap card equipped to a monster. Not that monster, a monster. And if you control it, the it gains 5 attack points. This is their only way in our deck to gain attack points, if I remember correctly. If it would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. We've got protection, we've got more attack. Enough attack to get over 3,000. That's enough to contest a Baron. Um, our train ride makes it so, after being equipped, you can activate the following effect based on which, who is equipped to. You either get to change your monster's position, if it's equipped to yours, you get to change the position, do you choose an amazement trap, or, sorry, our opponent chooses an amazement trap in the graveyard and send it to the field. If it's equipped to our opponent's monster, we banish the equipped monster. So we get to cycle through of our trap cards, or we get to get rid of this monster, this trap card, because we get rid of the puns monster on the field, meaning this goes to the creature. Just saying. Um, the um, race track. That's not really something you normally see at a amusement park. Um, you, you gain effects based on whatever it's equipped to. If it's equipped to you. You get to target a card, your opponent controls change the equipped monster's battle position, and if you do, shuffle that monster into the deck. Amazing. No pun intended. If it's equipped to your opponent, increase its level by one until the end of the turn and change the battle position. If you don't get why it's like that, this is based on FA. A deck all about increasing your attack points, they're all card, uh, increasing your level to increase your attack points, and it's a single deck, and it's all based on race cars. Anyway, next one is a roller coaster. Um, you get activate the effect based on who's equipped to. If it's on yours, you get to get rid of the opponent's trap card and itself. If it's on your opponent's, you get to add an amazement monster from your deck to your hand. And if you do, send this card to the graveyard. This one gets rid of itself. Whew. Um, the haunted house gain effect based on you can activate the effect based on who it's equipped to. If it's equipped to yours, you can target a monster upon controls the gates effect from the end of the turn. And if it's on your opponents, you can put a face down. Which by the way, because this is an equip card, it gets rid of itself when it puts an opponent's monster face down. Ferris Wheel. I really like Ferris Wheel's artwork. It's one of my favorites. Entirely because we get the administrator just hanging out in front of it. He's like He's really prominent front and center. He's just like showing off his amazing work. Again, no pun intended. It's not like he's not in all the others. Like you can see here, he also has. I think that's. Is that, I I. Uh, nope, uh, uh, that's not Delta. He also is in this one. Oh. If you zoom in here. He's in this one. I don't know who's driving these ones. He's also in... Is this him? Is this supposed to be him? Anyway, what's the Ferris will do? Now, I, I can stop talking about the artwork. I've already talked about that enough. You get equip it, you get it based on, a, get an effect based on, uh, you get activate this effect based on who it's equipped to. During the main phase, place this card from your hand on the bottom of the deck and draw a card. We get to cycle through our deck. Amazing. Again, no pun intended. You're not fine. Pun intended. If it's equipped to our pun, we get to swap its current attack effects. Um, now, the Plunder Patrol based one, the Water Ride, um, if it's equipped to ours, we get to once per turn. Ah, uh, if it if our opponents want to declare his attack, negate the attack, and if you do change control of the equipped monster until the end of the battle phase. So we give our, opponents a, our opponent a monster to stop an attack. But if it is equipped to our opponent's monster, when an opponent's monster activates in its effect, return to the hand. So if our opponent would activate the, the card that we give them, we get it back. 
Although, I don't know how they're going to do any of the, that. This needs amazement cards, this needs amazement, these need amazement? Anyway, the, like I said, this is a control trap deck, like most trap decks. And for Administrator, some of the best cards to equip to your opponent's monsters, in, from what I have seen, is usually put it face down, banish it, and if your opponent's <laughs> playing an XC stack, it'd be really funny to increase one of their monsters level by one. And which one was it? Was it this? No. This. Yes, it was Roll Coaster. Um, you get to add a maintenance monster from your deck to your hand. It's also a really nice one to throw onto your opponent. It doesn't stop them, but it's still fun. Oh, anyway, now that we've gone over all that, get ready for the next video, where I talk about even more trap decks. Don't forget to top deck the subscribe button again. It's right there. You might get the final piece of Exodia you need. I see you're missing the right arm. Ooh, unfortunate. That was Sunseed Genius Loki. Mm, well, good luck next time.